So welcome back. This is this week's Ship of the Week, the Nebuchadnezzar by Pirate Ray. And I've got him here today so that we can sort of talk a little bit about the ship and uh, go over a few of the details inside so we know what we're looking at. Um, Pirate Ray, do you want to say hello? Hi there, folks. So um, I'm going to look a little bit around the outside. So if you want to tell me about your ship a little bit. Um, I originally came up on the idea to rebuild ships from epic movies and the Nebuchadnezzar was one of them. And I searched for 3D models and I found eventually I found a good one which I converted with S and Edit. Um, I lost a lot of details in the process but it turned out okay at the end. What's the scale on this? Probably one on one. One to one scale. It's obviously inspired by the Matrix. Or it is the Matrix. This is the ship that Neo gets picked up in by Morpheus. Yep, it is. I tried to replicate it as good as I could. Although some aspects are bigger than the original like turrets and some details are a bit sketchy because of the blockiness of the game. Yeah, well working in one to one with one meter pieces is, is tricky. So, do you want to Tell me how to get in. Are we going to come in through the hangar here? Um, you can go in via the hangar and via one port at the back. I couldn't find any more entrances on the original details of the ship. Okay. So in we come. Dock your ship. There we go. Hit gravity. Oh yes. There we are. So here we are in the hangar bay, and Pirate Ray is going to show me around. Well, we've got the hangar bay here, but this is the first thing you'll see when you enter from the hangar bay. There's normally six prototypes of the APU with Mac in here. Which are offensive robots used in the Matrix themselves. They're one. They're slightly bigger than one on one, but they're actually pretty si nicely sized. They've got everything you want, faction module, camera, AI, and weapons. Nice! Then, then we've got the upper deck of, on the hangar, which gives you an overview of the hangar itself. Which also leads to other areas of the ship. Cool. Which way do we want to go first? Um, the engines. Follow me. Here we have the engines of the ship. I couldn't find a lot of details on the ship besides one image uh, showing one half of the engine room, which was looking a bit like this, as it is currently. But the rest of the details were sketchy. And to fill it up, I copied it to the other side and added a panel in the middle. Nice, I like the panels. <laughs> Um, also, I've got questions about the hanging lights everywhere. The LEDs are used for railings and cables. Right. Next up is the diner room. Or the, the relaxing area. <laughs> I love the color scheme. Nice and simple. And the pool table is what grabbed my attention the first time I came in as well. Yep. Well, there must be some games to do when you're not plugged in. That's right. There's also an, there's also an arcade over here. <laughs> Pretty simple. We've got a nice little kitchen over here. Want some rum? Yeah, <laughs> it's a nice. That's nice. That is. I like the uh, way you've done that countertop. And we've got some, you know, shelves all over the ship. Yep. Um, some RAM computers and that's about it you can view the outside as well if you want those were in the actual model hmm. um, next up is the back of the ship which is the storage area oh lots of storage yeah, you've got a lifetime of storage in here. Never have enough storage. I don't know how many. 
true. And when they fix that's um, if you exit through this, you'll get at the very back, which is I think in the original a docking port, but I'm not sure. Right. Don't fall down. Found something out. If you look straight down, it's very difficult to move forward. True. But yeah. Um. Nice. Well, like, what can I say? How accurate do you think the interior is then? In your um, opinion? I used, I used uh, a screen from the actual film for the interior, which is uh, shown on a computer, and it shows a slide show, a, a, a slight cut through of the ship. Yeah. So the so the layout of the chambers is actually pretty decent and correct. Though the original purpose might be different. Yeah. Well, no, I really like it. I think this is like really impressive. It's got a lot of detail in it. It's sort of true to the model. You're doing a lot of funny things as well with computers and decorative panels, which I haven't seen before. Just yeah, I hate empty walls. Yeah, that's something which I really liked. I think it was down these corridors here. Yeah, correct. You have the X panels. This is a brilliant idea for keeping keeping stuff interesting. Just, you know, lights, decorative panels, doors. Just stops all these In, bare corridors. Yep. In the original film there was this ring as well. That's why I made it into it. But I don't know what those doors were actually for. Right. Oh, what's this door? Oh, gosh. Uh, that flex door is the Where landing gear. Oh, I just I teleported away because <laughs> I closed it on my head, look, and it exactly. teleported me. <laughs> this anyway. flex door is uh, this flex here is the controls for the landing gear down there. Oh right, yeah, of course we haven't looked at that yet. Nice. So this is the Link operator room. Console. This is Link's operator console. Yeah. So I'm in the Matrix. Yeah. Well, you're in, you're not in the matrix. You're controlling the people in the matrix and giving them cool stuff to shoot with. Yeah, that's the one. And to make it more awesome, in when entering the ship, you enter the ship's core, actual core, which is over here. Do, 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 do. Ah, yeah, nice. There's the core. So yeah, ha. you go into the matrix when you're flying the ship, then. Yep. Yeah, brilliant, much. brilliant. Let's have a look at the stats on this then quickly. So what we got? We've got 4,517 mass, 150 long, 56 high, 90 meters wide. It's got 8,255 power with a uh, 1.03 million per second recharge. It has a thrust of 6,154. Turning is 1.1 on the X, 1.1 on the Y, and 1 on the Z, or Z, depending on where you're from. And uh, the shield's 151,959, with a 5,684 shield per second recharge. Recovery time, too. Yep, and I can even improve that if I fill the rest of the front up. I'm still deciding for weapons or shield. Yeah, yeah. Well, moving up, we got the uh, crew quarters, four beds, each room, a toilet, and a washing area. Nice. And behind that washing area is a shower. Oh, I didn't see that there. Nice. See, look at all that detail. It's such a small space. Good job, man. It's a challenge for me, and I like it. It's crazy. Same on both sides, yeah? Yeah, same on both sides. Yeah. Then we get to the bridge. Oh. Nice. Lots of scenes in here. Lots of monologue. Oh, We've yeah. got some decorations here and there, and I added glass as uh, those uh, the see-through window, see-through consoles, hollow hollow consoles. Yep. Yep. And it has a glass tube. Oh yeah, with your special, I like this trick here. It's flat. Press R. Press R. Press R. 
I like same that. Same thing goes. Yep, same thing I think goes for the output for the pulse. Oh uh, yeah, the sails. Let's check out the sails then. Oh wait, that said make output current. That's a pulse, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, that's the pulse. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. The sails cannot be activated from inside the ship. Right. Let's go check the sails out then. Unless there's something else um, I've missed. Yes, you have missed something else. There's oh. another deck. Oh no, sorry. Let's do it. Oh. We've got one more deck to go. The captain's quarters, I think they are. Cool. Just a bare just a bare bones room. Maybe I'll add a public plan or something, but this is about it. Yeah, Morpheus Morpheus's room I guess. Yeah, I think so. And here's the upper view of the connection room. That just looks great. I love it. Uh oh, we're gonna fall down. Yeah, I'm yeah, I uh -oh. missed some of the corners. <laughs> it's okay, I was fine. <laughs> and then the final room, which originally in the model is a split room, two rooms of each other, but I just created one big one. Right. Because one of the uh, rooms was controlling one of the turrets, I think. Oh, and I the see. other was controlling something else, but I just made one general room. Yeah, it looks good. You can't yeah, stay 100%, you know? It's good. Yeah, true. Give it your own little twist. Yeah. That's about it. So it's sail time. Yeah, the sails, they're quite unique. And obviously they added so that you could race in the solar sailing regatta with this ship. Yeah. Originally, yes. Um, on the second thought, I added more to them than I originally wanted. One more gimmick I'll show you, if you go to the hangar and you look downwards Yeah Here's your stairs Oh, ha <laughs> ha Got stairs you to can get off Yeah, you can land this thing on the planet and get in Right then Let's take a look at these sails, shall we? Yep. Go ahead. For the regatta, I made them two Poya pieces, and later on I got complaints for them being too small, and I added a back fin. Right. Yeah, that's and cool. It, it turned out pretty neat. It looks more of a fish than an amoeba right now, but <laughs> I'm happy. Yeah, it's fine. It looks grand. What are you gonna say, you know? I also added my trademark to it. A little skull. Yeah, I saw those skulls. They look good. There's skulls on them all over the shop. <laughs> oh! There we go. So there it is. The Nebuchadnezzar by Pirate Ray. Uh, another stunning ship and a recreation of something, you know, from another franchise, which is always nice to see people recreating things. Uh, used Smedit for the exterior, but the hand built the interior and the sails and all the systems. Um, have you anything else to add? Um, yes, when using Smedit, try to use all the vehicles yourself. That's about it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I'd agree. Smedit can't do details. No, no, you need to do it mostly by hand, for sure. Um, but then, yeah, it helps you with getting certain things right. Yep. Um, oh, we forgot the weapons. The weapons testing is done in the Proving Grounds now, buddy. Ah, uh, like that, yeah, not the Proving Grounds, it just has a pulse, a few AMCs and rockets. Oh, okay, yeah, if you want to just give me a quick demo. Hold on. What have we got? Obviously you've got turrets, the AMCs. But, yeah, okay, AMCs. Just 12, not, not much, they're 150 in damage. Cool. And we've got the 
speed missiles. Nice. And if you get in front of the ship, you'll be pulsed. Nice, here we go. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, it's every 4.6 seconds, so oh! there you go. <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> Thanks very much for bringing <laughs> this ship to show me, and uh, I'm glad to make it Ship of the Week. So I'll see you guys next week for the next Ship of the Week. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.